Robert Allen Johnson, R-O-B-E-R-T-A-L-L-E-N-J-O-H-N-S-T-O-N. Moved up here with the basics. I did find temporary accommodation. I was living there, which is like a NDIS program facility, whereas I'm not NDIS. Uh, it was ridiculously priced. Not worth its money, put it that way. I couldn't keep up with the rent. Uh, couldn't find employment up here, um, so money was twiddling away. Couldn't keep up with the rent, didn't want to live there. While I was there trying to find somewhere else, they evicted me because it's a breach to fall behind. And then I sold my ute to catch up. So then I found myself sleeping on benches like this, trying to find accommodation, trying to find, yeah, and thinking, surely, you know. So that's when I realised that, here we go. You either chin up or, you know. So from doing that, I've experienced basically stuff you can't read or learn from a textbook or a course on the laptop. Through the night I woke up, like all the cars were dispersed, except for that car, that car, that car, that van, that, that you, that, that, two in the morning. And I thought, I'm not the only one. I can't believe this. I mean, I noticed a lot of people around that area who were homeless, but I wasn't. So you don't really pay that much attention. You do, but you don't reflect on why or how they are there. It's amazing what you miss. A comfy bed, safety, being able to shut the door without someone. I got punched in the head laying on one of these benches one night. Middle of the night, someone ran past, punched me in my left eye. I had a bit of a shiner. You know, for what? Because I'm asleep. You know, it's obviously another person. Like, there's shadows all through the night. You can't sleep. You become nocturnal. Um, every little noise, a leaf drops, and anything else. Whereas I took it on as in, okay, there's a situation I'm in, let's see, you know. So from that, I've met a network of people that I found amazing, like through the Salvation Army, all these other charitable groups and everything else. And just over there in that rotunda, uh, there's going to be a community dinner. Through the Salvation Army, I've learned all this. They gave me any information I needed um, or anything else. I'd drop in and have a coffee with them, you know what I mean? Like they're, such a great bunch of people, and they all are. No one would do this by choice. I, I didn't. Just I thought, you know, something will happen. Do you know what I mean? And um, well, it's a long road. All those luxuries that you take for granted are gone, right? So it becomes an act of survival, a learning survival that, yeah. And who helped me with that was Salvation Army. Um, all the information, anything at the end, you know, but they put me in that unit and they asked me how did it affect my experience. As I said, you miss the cosy bed, you miss the safety of being able to lock a door, you miss a hot shower, gee whiz man.